fucking deleted Snapchat off my phone. And I've been sitting here with this bag of chips for literally 50 minutes waiting for it to reinstall so I can fucking eat one. So this is like, this is like the, another like Israeli wheat chip thing. Similar to the Osim brand, um, or company, but I forget the, the brand name for this specific one. So these come in all different kinds of shapes. I think they're pretty special because, um, yeah, normally I only like corn or potato chips. I find rice is too light. These are kind of like cereal. It's kind of like, yeah, you get like your shreddies, your barbecue shreddies, and your bits and bites. It's like a bunch of that. And I find they're really very filling, and that's nice. So I got three of these different flavors at Walmart. They had a bunch. They had ketchup. But I figured I'd just get three. I mean, yeah, someday I'll, I'll try the ketchup wheat snack, but I just want to try these kind of unique flavors. So I got a couple of... Today we're doing onion. And, like, every snack I eat that's onion-flavored is just fucking shit. So, let's see if these ones aren't fucking nasty. Here it is. It's a little tire. Looks like it's got a hair on it. Well, that's fucking gross. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad. It's almost like a sour cream and onion. Yeah, I fucking dig it. I'm eating like three between each shot. Sour cream and onion, it's been so long. Holy shit. It's actually the closest to sour cream and onion flavor I've tasted in fucking years. Like, I almost don't even care that there was a hair on that first one. Just a really thin piece of wheat, maybe. These are fucking spectacular. Just because I haven't had this flavor in years, though. Because I actually hate this pit flavor, but similar to pickles, now that I can't have it, I love it. Alright, I'm, I'm going to spare you guys the experience of watching me eat all these, but yeah, they're pretty fucking good. I go so far as to say that this is better than my memory of what the chips were like. It's just a nice hearty chip when it's made out of wheat, you know? Alright, let's, let's try the spicy ones while I'm here too, fuck it. I'm always really curious, well, when a, oh, sorry, I'm always really curious when a chip is just called hot and spicy, because, like, what does that mean? What, what pepper, you know, like, what, what, is it Frank's Red Hot? Is it Sriracha? Like, what is it, you know? These ones are little. Maybe they're so spicy that they have to be little. Kind of tastes like those, like, yeah, Frank's Red Hot and, like, some black pepper. Tastes kind of like a spicy spaghetti sauce. Nowhere near, nowhere near, like, a Takihi level. I thought for a sec this would be, like, my new Takihi replacement. So I stopped eating those because of palm oil. These are pretty cool, though. I actually love these fucking wheat chips. Like, is this the next wave of chips in Canada? Pretty mild flavor. Just... It's so good eating wheat. It's like bread. What's the one thing I love as much as potatoes? It's bread. I don't even like corn. I only like corn chips. This brand seems better than the awesome ones, though. Just like thinner, crispier. Maybe it all has to do with the shapes, too, though. They also had a pizza one. Oh yeah, I guess I'll eat the third one in a sec, but that'll just be literally a second for you, because video. Alright, falafel. Is this like one falafel though, or is it like the whole falafel? Uh, they probably don't eat falafel the same way as me. This is like little noodles. That's pretty good, it tastes like I'm eating like shawarma with falafel. In my head. Maybe it's the illusion of the shapes. Of the sticks that makes it seem like a car. We shall conclude today's chip adventure with Walmart brand rippled sriracha and lime flavor. Lots of chemicals on this one. And lots of cool uh, dehydrated stuff in here garlic, pepper, tomato, we got our lime juice, some of that nice malic acid. Mm. I think it's nice. It's kind of like a more generic brand, but with a more creative um, flavor, you know?
I'm not looking for a gourmet chip. I just want a cool flavor. Holy fuck. That's like one of the strongest uh, chips I've ever fucking tasted. Like it's not sriracha with lime. It's like sriracha and a lime. Like the lime flavor is as strong as it were it just a lime chip. You could say this is a lime chip with sriracha almost. It's kind of fucking good. It's like really juicy. It's like instead of vinegar, it's lime juice. This is actually a really fucking good chip. Oh, that's really weird. Like, it's nice to know that that is lime juice. And malic acid there. Not Like, it's not fake lime juice, it's actual lime juice. But I'm sure that sour flavor is coming more from the malic acid or some shit. It's a really, really sour chip. Like, it's more sour than most salt and vinegar chips, I would say. And the spice is pretty weak. I think they could turn the spice level up a lot. Turn the lime da level down a bit. You'd have a nice balanced chip.